Hello everyone and welcome to the next video in the series. This is a technical skills video on the topic of the formal reading of integers. Just a reminder that integers, uh, the set of integers, is the set that contains numbers such as negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. And of course on the positive side it's optional to write the positive sign down or, or not writing it down. And here is two examples of, uh, of numbers from, from Z. Now the formal reading of, of these numbers is to uh, use the word positive if you have a plus sign and negative if you have a minus sign. And uh, beyond that, the reading of the number part is identical to the, to the, uh, to the reading of it as a natural number. Uh, so all the rules that we had for, for the reading, for the formal reading of natural numbers apply as well, such as uh, numbers from 21 to 99. If they consist of two words, uh, then they are hyphenated. Uh, and, and that rule, rule applies to, uh, to this situation as well. Uh, and again, uh, just as with natural numbers, the use of the word and is prohibited in the formal reading of integers. So we read this number as positive 4 and this one as negative 4. Okay, uh, a few more examples. This number, we read this as 429. And you notice that 29 is hyphenated. Now if I, uh, if I put the positive sign next to it, then the reading of the number changes to positive 429. And you notice that the right reading of it, or the writing of it, uh, of the number part, is identical to, to what we had with the natural number 429. So all we did was to add the word positive to, uh, to, the, to the reading of the number. And same thing on the negative side. So we can read the uh, next number as negative 429. And you notice that the only change that we have is to add the word negative to the reading of the number. Here is another example. The natural number, 14 million, 15. You do notice that I'm not reading the, uh, the triad that consists of zeros, and I'm not using the word and. Now, if I put the plus sign before it, then it becomes positive, 14 million, 15. And if I put the word, uh, the sign, the negative sign before it, then it becomes negative, 14 million, 15. Now you should of course differentiate between the positive sign and the addition symbol, as well as the negative sign and the subtraction symbol. Although the two of them are related, as I talked, uh, as I told you in the previous video, uh, we, we saw a connection between the positive sign and also the addition sign, and as well as a, a relationship between the negative sign and the subtraction sign. But we still would like to uh, distinguish between the two of them when we read them or talk about them. And so when we use the word positive negative, we're talking about arriving at, at the result of some calculation. Whereas addition and subtraction are used in the sense of, uh, in the sense that they tell us that we need to carry out that, that uh, the, the operation. Um, and so uh, here we have now, the way we distinguish between them is uh, in writing uh, the, the sign positive and the, and the sign negative. These ones stick to the number. There is no spacing between the sign and the number. Whereas when we add and subtract, we can put a bit of space in between the sign and also the number to indicate that this is an operation. Okay, so uh, so the numbers on top, we can read them as positive 4. And, uh, and then if we put a bit of space, I would interpret this as being add 4. And same thing on the negative side, we read this as negative 4. And if we put a bit of space between the uh, between the sign and the numerical value, then it becomes subtract four. Now, uh, one more comment before we finish this video: zero is neither positive or negative because we agree that positive numbers are the ones that are greater than zero, and negative numbers are the ones that are less than zero. And because zero is neither greater than than itself nor is it less than itself, then it's neither positive or negative. And for that reason, it's not proper to use the symbol positive or negative with zero. So this notation is meaningless. We agree that this we will not do this, if you like. 
uh, to write positive zero. Although you can of course add zero. Uh, this is now, uh, there is a bit of space to indicate that we are adding. Uh, and that one does make sense. Uh, and similarly for, for uh, negative side, on the negative side, negative zero does not make sense. But we can al always uh, subtract zero if we want to. So, uh, and the image for it is here. Positive zero is meaningless, add zero, that's okay. Negative zero is meaningless, but subtract zero is all fine. And that's the end of this sort of very short video. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. And as usual, I will be gone before you know it.